the Raspberry Pi 02W has been out for a few months now, and after playing with it for a while, I can now suggest at least 10 projects that seem a good fit for this model. If you can get your hands on one, I highly recommend this model, I love it. This is not really a project on its own, but I highly recommend doing this with any Raspberry Pi you keep running 24-7. The Raspberry Pi 02 is a particularly good fit for this. EarnApp is an application that you can install on any Raspberry Pi model, to share your unused bandwidth and get paid for it. I tested it first on my Raspberry Pi 0 because I have it running all the time at home, but it works with any model. The installation is straightforward, one command line, and you'll get a few dollars each month, depending on your connection, location, and if it's on all the time or not. Check my full video on this topic if you're interested. Here is the link to get started right now, and you'll also find my tutorial in the video description. I wouldn't necessarily recommend the Pi 02 for desktop usage. Even with a boosted CPU, the lack of RAM will make everything a bit slow. But if your goal is just to learn how to code, test Python and maybe play with GPIO pins, it's a perfect fit. You can use light text editors, or write your scripts on your computer before transferring them to the Pi. Even a minimal OS is enough to learn programming. If you've read my book Master Python on Raspberry Pi, you know that I'm using Python scripts on my Pi Zero to control the lights at home, depending on the sunset and sunrise times. You don't need much more to build interesting projects. Did you know that the Nintendo 64 only had 4 megabytes of RAM? So, 512 megabytes of RAM on a Raspberry Pi Zero 2 is plenty for retro gaming. You probably won't play PlayStation games on it, but for any old school games, the Raspberry Pi Zero 2 is enough. And the tiny size of this model makes it the perfect fit for a portable game station, like the GPI case introduced in this video from ETA Prime. The ports on this model could be an issue to use it as a standard console plugged to your TV but for a handheld game console it's great. The Raspberry Pi Zero 2 is also the perfect fit for any home server. A file server seems to be the perfect example, as you just need some disk space to build one. RAM is not essential for a family server with a few users. I did a video recently about Open Media Vault, which is an easy way to install and manage a file server at home, via a nice web interface. I didn't test it on my Raspberry Pi 2, but it should work well, as it's just a minimal Raspberry Pi OS with a web interface for Samba. Nextcloud could be an option too. Personally, I have too many small files in my Nextcloud folder, so using a Raspberry Pi, even a Pi 4, is not a good fit. But if you don't have one yet, it might be a great project to try. As the Pi Zero 2 is limited in USB ports and power supply, try to find a big SD card and keep everything on it. An external USB drive won't necessarily be the best idea for this project. Some projects require the tiniest and lightest device to work best. It's the case with this drone project I found on YouTube, where the Raspberry Pi Zero is ideal. I never tried this, but it seems fun, and I understand why a Raspberry Pi Zero is great for that kind of project. But even for other robots projects, a Raspberry Pi Zero is often enough. In general, you just need a basic OS with a bunch of scripts, nothing much. Be careful if you are using one of the robot kits I recommend, not all of them are compatible with a Raspberry Pi Zero. For a camera project, we are particularly looking for a tiny device that can be hidden or discreet to secure an area. The Raspberry Pi Zero is perfect for this, and you can even find cases where the camera stays inside, like in this example. For the software part, you can either install Motion for a minimal setup, or use an app like ZoneMinder to get something closer to commercial software generally distributed with security cameras. You can find tutorials for both on my website, and linked in the video description. Another variant of this project would be to use a camera to monitor wildlife in your area. As the Raspberry Pi doesn't need a lot of power to run, 
you can probably keep it running for a few hours in your garden with a basic battery pack, while recording any movements. That's probably the project idea that interests me the most, both for the security camera or the wildlife camera. Installing an ad blocker is a typical project that is often recommended for beginners on Raspberry Pi. The idea is to use the Raspberry Pi as your DNS server, with an extra layer filtering domain names that generally host ads. You can either use Pi Hole or AdGuard to do this, they offer similar features, and don't require a ton of resources, so a Raspberry Pi 02 would be enough. If you haven't tried this, I have a video on this channel where I introduce and compare both solutions. Whatever your choice, you can easily install one of them and add additional services on your device. For example, you can have Pi Hole, Earn App and a few Python scripts on the same devices. The idea of a VPN is to create a secure connection between two networks, like your home and the company you work for. But you can also host a VPN server at home, to access your home resources from anywhere in the world. That's another thing I have on my Raspberry Pi 02 running 24-7 at home. I host a WireGuard VPN server, which allows me to access anything at home from anywhere. For example, I can recover a file from my backup NAS, connect to my Pi Zero via SSH or check the status of my smart devices when I'm out of the house. Once the server is set up, you can install a WireGuard client on your laptop or smartphone. OpenVPN is another option I have used a lot in the past. As always, you'll find more details in the video description, with links to my tutorials on this topic. This one is great, especially if you don't have a smart TV with all the fancy features. You can install a simple app on your Raspberry Pi to turn it into the perfect media center, and a Raspberry Pi Zero 02 is perfect for this, powerful enough and discreet, hidden behind your TV. There are several systems you can use for this, OSMC and LibreELEC are the most popular, but the main app you really use is Kodi. Kodi will play any media file and connect to your streaming providers, Netflix, Prime Video, etc., to turn any monitor into the latest smart TV with all features. And if you are more of a music fan than a binge-watching guy, then maybe you can try Volumio instead. It's the perfect app to listen to music, either with local files or any streaming provider like Spotify. The last project idea I have for you today is another server, an interface to manage all your home automation. I told you that I use my Raspberry Pi 02 to run Python scripts and manage my smart lights, but there are easier alternatives. For example, Home Assistant has a nice web interface to connect and program all your smart devices at home. I did a video recently about it, so if you are interested in this project, I would recommend watching it first. I hope this list of projects has inspired you, and that you'll try some of them soon. The Raspberry Pi 02 is a great choice for anyone, as it's inexpensive and is enough for most projects except desktop usage or heavy servers, maybe. If you can find one in stock, or can afford this price, I highly recommend ordering it. And here are a few bonus projects for you if you want more ideas.